Are you actually recording? <laughs> Slide for a duelist intro. What's up, YouTube? Slide for a duelist back at it again with a flavor of the Mun deck profile. Today, we got none other than Daniel. Daniel, what deck profile we got today? Uh, <clears throat> Grand Maju as a OTK, basically. Oh no. It's fun. I enjoy it. Is it better than Chain Burn? I think that was the last deck profile you were on. It was, I believe. Chain Burn or Paleo Frog, one of the it two. It was Chain Burn Lost, I believe. Eh. It's all better than Chain Burn. I enjoy it a hundred times more. A hundred. And Chain Burn was fun. Uh, I guess let's get into the profile. Let's do just that. Oh, Shut the fuck up. I play three Grand Maju, Diazai, Diaza or whatever. For those of you who don't know, he just gains 400 for every card I have removed from play, which in the stack can sometimes get pretty high. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time. Not all. OTK is light swords. <laughs> when they break on stream. Then the second most important card in the deck, Eater of Millions. What that card do? You banished five cards, five or more cards from your hand, field, and or extra deck to special one. <clears throat> and he gains 100 for every remove from play face down card you have. And then if you fight your opponent's monster, you have the option of banishing it face down. That's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. I like him just sometimes when he's relevant. Uh, next up... Triple Battle Theater. And so Scarecrow. Keep your ass alive. Yeah. I know how that goes. Uh, next is Double Necroface. Ooh. That's my favorite card. You play it just because you play Allure and Gold Slark, and you just want to banish more cards for the Grand Maju. Makes sense. And sometimes she can pack a punch as well just to get damage in. Uh, next up, Electromagnetic Turtle. Just because, well, he banishes himself, and it gives more power, and it stops the battle phase. Uh, last, or uh, Fairy Tail Snow, just to banish more cards. For consistency. Yeah. And the last monster in the deck, Maxi. Of course. Yeah. It's a stable. Pretty much. Where'd I put those? Those should have been on the top. Uh, for spells, triple desires. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Just cause you want to banish cards in the stack. Makes sense. You don't even care if they ash it. Uh, triple duality. And triple or of darkness just to dig in the deck. That's all they really do. Uh, triple gold sort. Because you just want to banish Necroface. Sometimes you want to go get a different card with it, but not all the time. Necroface is the number one target. Yeah, sometimes you banish the Grand Maju just to set up DDR. Mm-hmm. DDR just revives a monster from your move from play and destroys it when it leaves the field. Uh, you just want it in case your Grand Maju is removed from play. Uh, for the last three of MST... <laughs> Why MST? Because I wanted it because it was super and the twin twisters I have were common. So mm. I'm like, I want some rarity in the deck because it's mostly common. What do you mean? Your desires are ultras. No, duh, because they're only ultra or seeker. Alright. Uh, the rest was uh, two solar release. Ooh. Uh, this card actually came up today against Mark, because I just banished the continuous spells and traps out of his graveyard. That's broken. And then I banished my own cards just to power up Grand Maju as well. Because uh, it just banishes five cards from either player's graveyard. Uh, upstart Goblin, because you don't even care if you give your opponent... For opponent the 39 card deck. Sometimes. 
a uh, foolish burial because you want to send snow or a turtle to the graveyard and dark hole and that's the main deck pretty broken that's the main deck so you got an extra deck for this is yeah. that it right there yeah i have an extra deck oh shit spicy uh i play one horse prince one lion umper one tiger king and one carnal just because I like Fire Fist, I'm like, I'll put them in here. Then I have Trachonine, Hammer Kong, Tiger Mortar, and Borbo. Alright. I'm seeing the combo potential already. Okay. And then we have Cyber Dragon Nova, mm -hmm. Cyber Dragon Infinity, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, Chimera Tech Over Dragon, Cyber Twin Dragon, and Cyber End Dragon. That's pretty big. Like, how often do those come up? I don't know, dude. What was that there? The side. Oh no. Built the side deck for this masterpiece? Yeah. It's a good card. Double effect melee. Just because some matches you want to see it, some you don't. Uh, double Skull Meister. Just because he felt cool. He just looked cool, so I'm like, I'll throw him in there. And oh, sometimes yeah? he'll come in handy, I guess. Uh, two Gam Seal on a Raiden. Just because Kaijus is our Kaijus. Makes sense. Uh, two Pot of Acquisitiveness. Just to cycle Necroface back in if I ever need to, or anything else for that matter. Uh, triple Different Dimension Ground. Just to banish more monsters, hopefully. I'm disgusted by these cards. And then triple heavy storm This card is fucking annoying. Which one? This one? Mm -hmm. I made this today right, before I made the decision on this Don't you team. have like nine of those, Mark? Mm -hmm. This card's right. pretty fun against True Draco, I believe it was, because I would just get rid of his continuous spell and traps and his uh, field spells. And most of the time he just had to pass with that. That's pretty and that's pretty much the deck. So, Mark, what do you have to say for yourself? Did you lose to this deck? Uh, he lost to it the first three games, yeah. and then he started, and then he won the next three. Damn, stacking or what? No, just Masterpiece is too good. How so? Explain. Masterpiece and Raijin. How how does Masterpiece out Grand Maju? He's not he's not as strong. He's weak. If I didn't have the right combo set up, he would win it. <laughs> All right, guys, that'll be it for this. Flavor of the Monk deck profile. Cancer. From Sly for Red Duelist. Please like, subscribe. Remember, Sly for Red Duelist forever. We'll see y'all next time. Gucci gang. Have a good night.